It's the reflex of most wannabe language learners. It is the textbook. And I don't like it because in most cases, the textbook is going to just collect the dust for a few years. Maybe a few months if you are very tidy like me. But before, uh, after that, it'll be given to the niece who's learning French or sold alongside ugly dishes in a garage, garage sale. In some cases, maybe it transforms a once peaceful individual into a soldier of French grammar, and you know who I'm talking about. Not a pretty sight, especially when their grammar is, at best, shaky. Rarely, though, it works, and we'll talk about why and how you can make sure that it works for you in a minute. But... I'm going to be straight with you. I don't like textbooks, and I think you should be wary of them. And I have to add, I'm a language teacher. So here's why I don't like them. Because textbooks are basing everything on grammar. Yes, 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 I know grammar, grammar, grammar. But language, grammar purists, sorry, grammar purists and I, we don't get along. Usually because they use snobs. And of course, I'm an angel, but let's be nice and concede them something. Grammar is somehow important. After all, it's the, the mechanics of a language. But you could totally learn grammar without even thinking in terms of grammar rules, or at least in a list of irregular verbs, for example. You will know them, you will know grammar, you will make grammatically correct sentences, but you won't have to stare at a textbook for hours. The problem with textbooks is not is not so much the grammar the grammar by itself is just it's, it's grammar I, I have no opinion on grammar what the problem is is that your learning if you use a textbook and only a textbook will be based entirely on grammar and that's kind of really risky business because grammar is full of exceptions plus it's not going to make you the most natural sounding speaker Grammar won't teach you spontaneous. And to me, communication is mostly spontaneous. Unless you want to learn French to become the next Balzac. But I'll spare you my rent on Balzac because, you know, I'm a nice and positive kind of person. The second problem with textbooks is that they are books. There. <laughs> Ooh, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love books, but it's not exactly the same as speaking with a native. For example, during my coaching sessions, because I do that, you can check the description if you want to take one with me. One of the most recurrent problems that I talk about with the students is that learners use a lot of materials. It can be textbook, it can be apps, but they're not capable to speak to me in French. They are working so hard, putting in so many hours, yet they have very little result because what they want to be able to do is speak. But it's normal that they're not able to speak to me because they are not used to speak. They read, they listen, and they write, and so they can read, listen, and write in French pretty well. But they can't speak. And all of their grammar knowledge goes to waste because of this. And sometimes their motivation goes out the window too. Such a shame. The third problem with textbooks is that textbooks assume Anyone is everybody. Everyone is different. <laughs> I know it sounds like I'm a genius, but what I mean is everyone's brains, goals, hopes, dreams, personalities are different. If not, we would be called robots, not humans, right? However, a textbook is speaking to you the exact same way it does to any other person because it's a written text. The information is conveyed exactly the same to everyone and the goal of the person who has made this textbook is to sell, to sell it to as many people as possible. And it's all packaged to try to appeal to everybody who is learning French. But you, you're not learning French for the same reason that everyone else, are you? Some textbooks are specific. Usually it's a question of theme, like business, but still quite rare. You can find plenty of phrase books for travel, but there is no textbooks for travelers. There's an online course and I have one in the description below and you can check it out. But what I mean is that it's, it's, just, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. If you find a textbook that is highly specific enough, then why not? And actually, let's talk about 
when textbooks are actually useful. Because, you know, I'm, I'm reasonable. Even though I don't like textbooks, I can see why in some cases they might be useful. So <clears throat> one of the first situations where uh, le learning with a textbook might be a good idea is when learning a bit of grammar doesn't hurt. If you have been learning French for a while, but that you are stuck on the intermediate plateau, that you can speak French, but that you have trouble getting your ideas across or making grammatically correct sentences, then maybe a bit of grammar would help. It will sort of structure your understanding of French sentences and tenses. And that, that, that would be a good thing. Just please make sure that the textbook doesn't become your only source of learning and that you get tons of practice as well. Because what you learn, you need to practice to be able to memorize. Although, uh, textbooks are uh, cool and all of that, but maybe if you look at a grammar book, in this case, it would be a better idea. Something like a Becherel, and I will put a, put a link in the description box below the video or the podcast. <clears throat> Another situation uh, when learning a language... Uh, when, ah! Sorry, let's, let's start again. Another situation where uh, learning with a textbook might be a good idea is when you need structure. Some of us, we need structure to learn. Uh, I'm more the spontaneous autodidact kind and I need to be really uh, excited, excited about what I do and I need to change what I do most of the time to be able to learn, but I get it. When learning something seems completely impossible, or that the task is daunting. Having a clear structure path to follow is easy. So a textbook can act as this structure path. So it can be sort of a trampoline to language learning. Although you could totally create your own structure as well. But Another situation is when you find a textbook that is made for you. For example, my friend Angel's teaching is based on this. He's not creating a textbook for you, but what he does is that he's crafting a personalized plan based on your goals and need. He's doing the, the structure for you, basically. And it really works because everything is created for you. Now, it's rare, but it can happen. You could actually maybe find a textbook that you really resonate with, that you really want to open, that you really want to work on, and that it seems like the text is speaking to you directly. So maybe if you find that you learn well with textbooks, it's worth taking a look at the different textbooks available on the market. And if you find one that really resonates with you, and I insist on really resonate with you, I'd say it's going to be a good companion to your learning. Not just in terms of goals, you know, but also about the teaching method. You need to look at that as well before you purchase. I've made a post uh, comparing a few textbooks, even though I don't like them, uh, if you have to get a textbook, uh, they, I, I compared them in between them. So you can go and check that out. I will put the link to that blog post in the description box below the video. So go and check that out. So to finish, I don't like textbooks, but textbooks are not the devil either. I mean, they're not the only solution to language learning. And I wish that students and learners didn't have that reflex when they want to learn a language. You could j totally decide to use movies as you use textbooks. It's exactly the same. There's plenty of methods that are equally as good as textbooks. But the thing I want you to remember is that you are an individual with specific needs in terms of language learning. And so that you should find the method, the way for you to learn that is as close to your needs as possible. And that's really uh, how you can learn languages pretty quickly. <clears throat>